Hi, and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, sponsored by T-Set. I'm Heidi. I'm here with Chef Val from OUTU School of Community Medicine. We always have a good time, or that's yep, what I think. We do. <laughs> what are we making today? So we're making some apple cinnamon oat bar. So it's, okay. a, it's like a soft granola bar. Okay, so you yep. could use it as... <clears throat> A granola bar or even dessert or breakfast snack dessert oh breakfast there you go that's yeah. perfect yeah so on the stove we have some peanut butter canola oil honey and applesauce and so i'm gonna go ahead and take that off of the okay. heat and i'm gonna stir in some cinnamon and is that just a matter of warming it just getting it getting soft or is it amount of time the the warming the putting right. it on the heat, it's, it just on the to, heat. it's just to get everything mixed together more easily because okay. the peanut butter and the oil are going to emulsify better okay okay so the cinnamon a good pinch of salt and then we're going to go right in with some oats and there's some there's some pumpkin seeds in here somewhere okay. i believe and oh no the pumpkin seeds nope they're not in here either and so <laughs> the cranberries they're disguised right into the yes. mix and some flax meal and chia seeds okay oh, okay we found them oh there they are <laughs> there they are we found them okay so this all just gets stirred together and pressed into okay. a pan and so i like to line it with foil and then it's just going to get baked um until they're you know firm it's not like they're not going to be done right you could eat all of these right. ingredients you could have raw, it okay soft or you could have it a little more firm yes. whichever but you can see this and so it's going to come together a little bit more with some additional stirring and okay. you just press this into a pan and bake it for about 20 minutes now with the different <clears throat> I want to say toppings, they're not really toppings, but could you change out the seeds and the fruit and things yes. like that? Okay. Yeah, with all of our recipes, we like to be really flexible, change the type of fruit, change, change the seeds and nuts. You know, if you're allergic to nuts, use pumpkin seeds or sunflower okay. seeds. Um, so it's interchangeable, just yeah. depending on what works for you. Yeah, absolutely. And then also sun butter is a really good um, alternative if you have a nut allergy also. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's good to know, just that's to keep, sunflower keep seeds. those things in the, you know, right. for people to know, because not everybody's aware. Right. And so this is okay. our finished product right over here. Oh, so we've already like, we're heading right to the finish line. That's right. Okay, so this is a great alternative for breakfast, snack, just like Chef Val was saying. Great for on the go. You know, my kids are mm. always it's like, very oh, good. I a snack, I forgot to eat breakfast. Well, this is this is your answer to And that. the apple and everything is oh, in there. Oh, I forgot the apple. Okay. okay, so I was like, this looks dry. That's um, okay. Very quickly, I was just like, I can taste the apples where I was going with that. But you would add the apple in. Yes, and it doesn't okay. even look like apple. So we pureed it, or as much as we could in the food processor. And so it does turn brown. You know, apples do oxidize as they... Um, sit there for a few minutes so this just all gets mixed together and then it gets pressed then, into the pan and then you press the pan and you get a delicious bar out of it with the apple flavor it's amazing thank you very much as always for joining us if you want to learn this recipe or any other recipes go ahead and head to kjrh.com